Webster's New World Dictionary defines the word anchor as any device that holds something secure or anything regarded as giving stability and security. Whether it is stability, whether this stability is needed to hold a ship in port by lowering the lock, huge anchor overboard, or whether it is the structure of a building by the foundation stones that anchor the entire <coughs> design. The strength of the vessel or building depends on the strength of the foundation. Allies are no different from the seaworthy vessels or the most famous architecture. We need faith and friends and family members who give us that stability and a sense of focus. Without these friends and their words of wisdom, we are just like the ship that is tossing on the waves of the mighty storm without hope for the next moment. The Spartanburg Bird Club Council is proud to have such a member for over 60 years as, we, <coughs> as she has anchored many decisions and innovative ideas that have made our council sail through the gentle waters and sometimes gave us safe passage through the turbulent seas. She, <clears throat> she is anchored in her gardening skills and knowledge. She has served at <clears throat> with the Master Gardener Program. She is uh, Emeritus Judge as a National Accredited Flower Show Judge an Emeritus Member of the National Accredited Gardening Consultants of Spartanburg, and an Emeritus Member of National Accredited Landscape Critics of Spartanburg. She is a National Life Member of Garden Club, as well as a Lifetime Member of the South Carolina Garden Club. Her love of flowers has led her to many organizations, and her hunger for botanical knowledge <clears throat> including the Tulip Garden Club, the Semiquisco Garden Club, the Piedmont Carolina so Irish Society, <clears throat> the American Irish Society, and a founding member of the In-Depth Garden Club, Study Club. These associations have given her a chance to serve in many positions in the Spartanburg Garden Club Council, such as past president, legislative, Chairman, Chairman of the Piedmont Interstate House of Flowers, Chairman of Mountain View Nursing Home Beautification and Garden Therapy Projects, and Arbor Day Chairman for the Garden Club of South Carolina and East Piedmont District, just to mention a few <coughs> positions. Yet in all the responsibilities of these areas, she still has found time for, to embrace her sense of humor even to one point of storming into a stage with goggles and flippers to embrace one of Marianne Kirby's underwater design seminars. <laughs> <laughs> Our candidate Canada is anchored in faith, which shows through her love and service to others. She is a member of St. John's Lutheran Church, the CLCA, American Mission Committee and has served as the first woman to serve as chairman of the Lutheran congregation in South Carolina. She found joy in organizing and directing two children's choirs, being a member of a church choir, teaching weekday church, uh, church school, directing the church kindergarten program, teaching vacation Bible school, serving for 10 years as a Girl Scout leader and advisor, and volunteering for three years as a den mother for the Boy Scouts of America. Along with her love of the everlasting God, our anchor shows her love for the Palmetto State and her love for the United States of America. She is an active member of the First Monday Republican Club, the Greater Spartanburg Republican Women, and has an election poll uh, has been an election poll manager and worker over many years. She is listed in Who's Who in the South. 
who's who in the South and the Southwest, who's who of American women, and listed in personalities of the South. She is an honorary Lutheran man and mission, <laughs> and an honorary, uh, honorary Oakley by Governor Barrett of Oklahoma. She received highly, the highly prestigious Order of the Palmetto Award for Outstanding Achievements in 2004. Our anchored candidate has also been a beacon in the world of education. Not only did she serve on kindergarten level, but she has served as the State President of South Carolina Congress of Parents and Teachers. She faithfully devoted her time and energy to the state, district, and local TA programs, where she was inducted as a life member. For these years, on the South Carolina Committees for Education Week and a member of the Family uh, Council, our anchored friend, was a recorder for the Governor's Conference on Education as well as a delegate to the White House Conference on Food, Health, and Nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> since, reading and, since reading is such an important part of the education process, she attended the Right to Read program in Scottsdale, Arizona, and the Children's Health Conference with Dr. Jonas, um, I have problems with his name, Stop. <laughs> Dr. Jonas Stalk in um, San Diego, California. Mm -hmm. After all her huge, after all her huge list of accomplishments, we want to remember that even through our anchored friend, we will, who will soon be 92 years young, very soon. She is still a vivacious teenager in mind and spirit. <laughs> she is still active in her church work, garden clubs, and activities. Spartanburg Knitting Guild, the Gamecock Club, Mountain View Corporate Board, and Neighborhood Watch Programs. We would like to close this nomination with a quote by John Wesley that is so fitting to our friend who has anchored the foundations of many organizations and beloved friends. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as as ever you can. Today we would like to nominate to you our wonderful friend who is an anchor in so many lives for the Spartanburg Garden Club Council and is our woman of the year every year, Frederica Freddie Wilson. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.